Hi, this is Kester and this is how to create your own animated background for the new Panorama UI. So first things first, the new Panorama UI is only an optional update, so for the time being it won't load up when you start CSGO, you will have to set a launch option to do so. So I'm going to guide you how to set this launch option. First of all, um, you need to access your Steam library and head to your CSGO entry. Right click on that to get to the properties and in the first tab of the properties there is a button called set launch options where you can add a new launch option. If you have some launch options just add this one in addition to that. If you don't have launch options it will look like this. So the launch option we are going to add is called Panorama and as all launch options it has to start with a minus, so minus Panorama in front will um, define that the next time CSGO will be booted the new Panorama UI is loaded. So just to show you the default settings of the Panorama UI, I'm going to boot up CSGO. And as you can see here, after the new loading screen, the Panorama UI is shown. And behind the player model on the right side, you can see the background image, which is animated. And for the default settings, it's the map the Nuke, which is shown in a short animation. And we are going to change this to our own custom animation. To do so we will have to define which video we are going to use. I decided to use my channel trailer from YouTube, but you can use any video you are going to find or you want to use. Um, the only limitation is that this video has to be in WebM. As you can see here in the properties of my source video, my channel trailer is also not in the format we need and that is why we need to convert this video. To convert our source video into the desired format WebM, we need a program. Um, there are several programs to convert videos from one format to the other, but I'm currently using the AVC, the Any Video Converter, and I'm going to link to the download page in my video description on YouTube. So within AVC, we just need to drag in our source file, and then we will have to select the desired target file format in this drop-down list on the upper right-hand corner. Um, it is. It can be found in the section Common Video Formats. There is the WebM Movie File Format, which we are going to select. And as you can see here on the right side, there are some settings loaded. There are three tabs, which are going to explain to you. So the Basic Settings tab is um, providing you the information about the file name and the desired output folder. You can also shorten the video you are going to convert, but I'm going to keep the video length to the length of the original file. In terms of video size, I recommend selecting original and quality should be on high. But just keep in mind that the file itself, WebM, is not of the highest quality, so the new file we are going to create after conversion won't look that good as the source file. In the tab Video Options, I recommend to set the video bitrate to original video bitrate to keep the quality as high as possible. And in the tab Audio Options, I suggest to disable the audio. The reason for that is that the audio will also be playing in the background of the menu. Um, and this might be a conflict to your menu music playing in CSGO. So if you set up all your conversion settings, click on the button Convert Now and wait for the process to be finished. To teach CSGO to load a new video as a background, we need to place our new created file within the file structure of CSGO. 
So the path would be your installation path and then Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Counter-Strike, Global Offensive, CSGO and then there is a new folder which is called Panorama and within Panorama you will find several videos and as you can see here by the preview pictures there are three videos which contain the Nuke background we saw before which is which are called Nuke, Nuke 540p and Nuke 720p and to keep them as a backup I'm going to create a new folder here which is called backup and copy all these videos within this folder so even if we destroy something we can um, make our process undone. So after creating our backup I'm going to place in my new video file that we created and converted and um, as you saw before the original files are three so we are going to create uh, three versions of our new footage that has to be used as the background video. Um, I'm quite lazy, I'm just um, copy and pasting it so there are three versions of this file and each version has to be named in the way the original files have been named so one file is named nuke the other file is named nuke 540 p and the last file is named nuke 720 p so after um, putting in our new background file and changing those file names you should have a backup folder where the original nuke videos are in uh, and the panorama videos folder where your video is placed in uh, in three different versions at least different in terms of the name one is called nuke one is called nuke 540p and one is called nuke 720p so that's all we've changed the video files so if we boot up CSGO now the new background of the UI will be our video